Our Nikolay IS-5 FTIR spectrometer has really established a reputation as a go-to problem-solving tool in QA, QC labs across the world. FTIR is a great technique for identifying unknown materials. It can also be used quantitatively um, for the analysis of materials, particularly in the chemical industry. Um, the challenge with FTIR, though, is that quantitatively it can be difficult to create methods uh, that can be deployed uh, across um, QAQC labs um, and operated by um, QAQC operatives uh, in labs. Near Infrared offers a number of advantages over FTIR for the development of such QAQC methods. The sampling is typically much simpler because you can use a larger sample. So, for example, if you got this samples which may be difficult to reproducibly measure on an FTIR in a quantitative sense or FTIR may not have the sensitivity, FT near infrared offers a lot of advantages. So what we've done here is we've expanded our product range um, by including a near infrared version of the IS5 spectrometer. So this is new to PitCon um, and here it is the Nikolay IS5N uh, near infrared spectrometer. Um, just like the uh, IS5 uh, sibling, um, it runs on our very popular Omnic software suite. The great thing about that is that if you're a spectroscopist working in a lab and you're used to using our traditional FTIRs and building methods within our Omnic software suite, um, it's incredibly simple to create a method on the IS5N. The system here is extremely easy to use, very simple. Like the IS-5, the IS-5N has a standard sample compartment, so it's compatible with both our proprietary accessories and third-party accessories. So that really opens up sampling possibilities, whether you're doing transmission, diffuse reflectance, fiber optics, there are accessories that will fit in here available from us and third parties. Here we're showing the dedicated ID1H, which is a heated transmission um, sample compartment. Um, it's temperature controlled to 40 degrees C, uh, very easy to um, operate, you just plug it in, comes up to temperature, green light comes on with, when it's at temperature. Temperature control is really important for a lot of near-infrared methods um, because uh, the near-infrared spectra with some samples can move around with temperature. So very important that you fix the temperature, build the calibration at that temperature and measure your samples at that same temperature. Very simple with this because there is only one set point, 40 degrees C, works for the majority of samples, so very simple foolproof operation. So overall, um, very straightforward, uh, easy to use near infrared. Um, if you can uh, operate a standard FTIR, you'll be able to use this, this near infrared. So we've really taken the, the mystery out of near infrared for um, general lab spectroscopists. There's a lot more information available at thermofisher.com. Um, or, of course, you can contact your friendly local sales representative who will provide you with much more information. Um, we also have a series in the US of uh, Spectroscopic Solutions Seminar Series. You can find the link on our website and you can come for an in-person seminar, learn a lot more about FTIR, what it can do for your lab and find out more about this product there.